Hey everyone, I am back with another installment, the October installment, reviewing the September favorites of yours. So what I do, if you're unfamiliar with this concept, is I look back at the analytics from the previous month and see what items I talked about last month in the categories of beauty, clothing, accessories, which is basically all the fashion-y items that don't fall into clothing, and then random type lifestyle things look through all the stuff that were the most clicked on and or most purchased, which usually are the same things, and then give you the top five in those categories. And generally, um, I try to find, if it's sold out, I will find something that's very similar, and I always try to find something that's either the same price or less, or I'll revisit it and be like, hey, I know you guys really liked it, but guess what? I found something that's kind of better, or I've been using it again since then, and I don't like it so much, or, it's actually better and here's another way to use it, that kind of thing. It's sort of like a follow-up video and all, and it, maybe it's on sale, all that kind of stuff, kind of like a catch-up follow-up. Okay, so let's get into it, starting with beauty. I think I'm a little wound up in this video because I'm just coming off being gone for almost a week and I pre-filmed before I was out of town, so I haven't been in front of a camera in a little while and I'm happy to be back. I know you didn't know I was gone, but I was gone and I'm back and I'm happy. I missed you. Okay, so starting with beauty. This guy, I'm not actually wearing it. This was hands down number one. This was far and away the most liked, favorited, sold item. It's the Clay de Peau Refined Lip Luminizer in the shade Old Rose. I talked about it in a Nordstrom video I did. It was a sponsored Nordstrom video, um, and this was by far the favorite thing. Number one seller, everybody loved it. It is a lovely, I want to kind of put it on because it was so moisturizing. Unlike my throat, which is parched, coming up with some sort of allergy thing and my throat is so dry and I've been coughing. It is a sort of combination of a lip balm with a lot more pigment. It's very moisturizing, it's very slim. There's a bunch of shades. I like the shade Old Rose because it's a sort of your lips but better pigmentation. I did buy it at Nordstrom and I'll link to it below but it is sold out at Nordstrom. It's the exact same price at Neiman Marcus. That's where I found it online and it has free shipping and free returns there as well. So I've linked Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom. Lots of other shades of this particular shade does not work for you. Next in beauty favorites was this Kevin Aquan Etherealist Concealer. The foundation was a major miss for me, although I haven't tried applying it with my fingers yet. Gotta do that. Um, but the concealer I really, really liked. I have it in the shade, I think it's um, light or fair. It's EC01 is the exact shade. It's probably the lightest shade they make. Don't love it so much all over my face, but it really brightens and it's very pigmented without being drying and cakey under the eyes. That's what's going on right here. Um, I just did tiny little dots right in the kind of the troughs right here and very brightening, lightweight and pigmented, great for aging older skin like mine. Another favorite from Beauty from last month in September was the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I have a feeling this had something to do with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. This is a palette that whenever I travel, I take with me and apparently y'all felt the same. This is an all matte palette with um, highly reflective light bouncing off it. Hang on. All right, I turned off the flipping ring light. The lighting might not be perfect, but at least I can hold the, this up and it won't blind you. This is a great neutral matte palette, all matte shades. One's more neutral, one's more cool tone, one's more warm tone. And then you can, you know, supplement with shimmer shades, foil, glitter, what have you. But especially when you're traveling and you know, limited space. This is just the best palette. I can't be without it. And apparently many of you felt the same way. On the opposite side of the spectrum, the next most popular item for beauty was this guy. This is the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. There are some neutral shades in this, but clearly lots of pops of colors. Um, and it's a really fun, I think, obviously year round, but I feel like a lot of autumnal fall-like colors in there. Um, orangey, bronzy shades, and it's it's fun. What I like about this particular palette, and I think a lot of you felt the same way, is that if you want to play with color, this is not a major investment. Under $10, the shades are really soft and creamy. Um, they're good quality, and you can't go wrong with this. If you wanna stay neutral, you can do that. If you wanna add some color, 
you can do that too. And then the last most popular item for beauty was the full size Colleen Rothschild Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. This is the full size. You can buy it all by itself. You can get more of the travel size, the little baby version, if you buy it in the hair kit. The, I can't remember what the full name of it is, but it's the hair kit. It comes with a conditioner and like a tangle teaser type comb but look how much bigger the full size guy is and it's a really good price for the amount of product that you get in this. I can't live without it. I know right now it looks like my hair has not seen any sort of serum. I, for the first time in what, 10 months, tried blowing my hair out this morning with an actual hair dryer and round brush. I'm going back to my Revlon one step. This was, this took forever and it's not nearly as smooth and pretty as I like it to be. That's a whole different video, but yeah. Okay, now let's move on to clothing. And so before I dive in and give you the top five, I want to address something that was really interesting to me because we all have our opinions and what we think is the truth, but I'm a big fan of statistics and numbers and science and facts. And when you go into the analytics, the numbers don't lie. And far and away, I did... Let me back up. I did a video just a few weeks ago, um, a haul, a sponsored video with Walmart, uh, just a fashion clothing video. And it, to date, outside of the Nordstrom anniversary sale video, where the, you know we all go a little nuts during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, myself included, but just as a freestanding, non-Nordstrom anniversary sale video, to date, the biggest sales I have ever had in a video, ever, was that video. You all loved those clothes, the, the sales, the number of orders that went in through those links, incredible. So thank you, first of all, for using my links. Um, it tells me that even though there were a few very vocal people who were not a fan of the clothes, Walmart, what have you, the silent majority very much appreciated the clothes, the price point, what I chose, what have you. The number one thing for September was the time and true, all the sweaters that were like the graphic sweaters. They either said love on it or chow or the ones with the stars. Unfortunately, all of those are sold out. There's one left that says happy. It was the one sweater I didn't buy. Um, that one is sold out. No, that one is not sold out. But what you can do, and I put a link to the one that was the, the sweater that said chow on it that had like the, the stripes across it. That is sold out, but I put a link below. You can sign up for an email alert when it comes back in stock, which leads me to believe that they will come back in stock. Otherwise, I think it would have just said sold out. So I'm putting that link below. Hopefully they come back because they're $14.88, which was a great price. Okay, second most popular clothing item from September based on your shopping habits was the Time and True sweatshirt. I believe I mistakenly said that it was a Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt because I bought one of those two, I just haven't shown it in a video yet. Um, and it's a great sweatshirt. But it was the Time and True sweatshirt. I have it in the shade, it has the word soot in it. Maybe it's black soot or something, but uh, it comes in a bunch of colors and that was number two. Very soft yet lightweight. Reminds me a lot of the cast, the old Caslon burned out sweatshirts. Obviously quite a bit less expensive. And then number three, was, I should move over so I can insert pictures, I'm sorry. Number three on the list was the EV1 Alex Relaxed Fit Jeans. Now I have them in more of the distressed vintage wash, which means there's holes in them. And by your true size, they do stretch over throughout the day. They're very soft, they're very giving. So when you first put them on, they might feel a little bit snug, but they will give and stretch throughout the day. So if you feel like you are between sizes, size down, or just get your true size. Also comes in like just a regular medium wash with no holes, a lighter wash. There are some other options. I love them. They're so, so incredibly comfortable. Number four on the clothing uh, most popular items was this, this shirt. In this, I didn't even talk about this in September. It's just, I, I don't think I did. Um, it's the button back shirt from Nordstrom. I can't remember who makes this. Is it all in favor? It might be all in favor. The good thing is that it's still available and they've released it in more colors for fall. It does run big. I am wearing it in a small and I should have definitely sized down. I do kind of like it oversized. You can't see right now, but I'm wearing it with some old BP moto leggings. So I kind of like that it's oversized because I can wear it easily with leggings. 
and super comfortable. This is sort of like an off whitish cream color. There's like a mustardy color that's really pretty for fall and it's quite versatile. I like it, so did you guys. And then the last most popular item for September is another Walmart sweater. This one I'm definitely getting at least one, probably two more. It's just a basic, well, the one I chose was black. They call it the seed stitch pullover sweater and it's just a basic, very soft, pullover sweater that comes in a lot of colors. It's a lighter weight sweater again. This isn't gonna be something you could wear to like go walking in the woods when it's 20 degrees outside. You're gonna need to layer it. But especially for those of us that live in warmer climates where it doesn't get bitter, bitter cold, it's a great sweater. It's a great transition sweater for this time of year if you do live somewhere that gets colder and it comes in great colors. I got it in black. I really want the pale pink and there's about eight or 10 other color options. So a great, um, price point, a great weight for this time of year, and it's great. It's just, it's a great sweater. Regardless of where you would buy it, it's a great sweater. It makes it even better when it's like 10 or 15 bucks. Let's get on to accessories. So this bag, now I gotta talk to you about this bag. This was the vegan messenger bag from Social Threads. And as you can see, it has no strap because when you buy it, that's how it comes. You have to pick your strap and buy that separately. Now, don't get too attached to this guy because it's sold out. So it comes back in stock and all that. And I did link it, but you can't get it. So there. But um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did post they came out with a new version because people asked for a zip top, a flap, an outer pocket, an inner zip pocket. And so they listened and they came out with one. And as cool. soon as it released, I don't tell you to buy something and then not buy it myself. This was not gifted. I bought it. They don't know who I am. Um, I bought it. I bought it in the camel and it's also, it's the same material. It's this vegan leather and it has this asymmetrical flap and then the top does zip and it has an inner zipper pocket and then it has two slip pockets inside. I think you can see. And then on the outside on the back, it also has a nice zip pocket, great for sunglasses and phone. And then this is still the same strap that I bought to go with that one. I also have an old Rebecca Minkoff guitar strap that I could easily put on either of these. You can find straps on Amazon. You can buy, they have a gajillion, all the straps are in stock on social threads as well. Anyway, so while you can't get the original messenger bag, this is another option. This comes in black and gray as well, I think, all in stock. So there you go. Very intrigued by this website. Okay, number two was, is, was, this is the Time and True Mule, studded mule, in the blush faux suede. Um, just got back from visiting the kids at Ole Miss. Michael and I did a lot of walking and we took Rowdy for a walk all over campus, walked about two and a half miles um, in these. Very comfortable, no blisters. Also come in a faux black suede with the silver studs, both still in stock in pretty much all of the sizes. Black is in all of the sizes. Um, some limited sizing in the pink. So both linked below, like I said, very comfortable. No blisters. Always a, a good day when you can walk around and get not get blisters. Number three were these. They are a little dirty. I apologize, I need to clean them. Um, these have been a favorite many, many months in a row. These are the Madewell sidewalk sneakers, um, as opposed to, I don't know, driveway sneakers, street sneakers. Um, I took the laces out and put in the no tie uh, laces that I got on Amazon. I'll link those in the description box. I like these, I don't know why you like them. I can tell you why I like them. I like them because they're sort of a low profile. There's no discernible branding. They look like they're narrow, they're not narrow. I have wider feet, they fit just fine. They're kind of like a go with everything sort of non-athletic athletic shoe. Apparently all feel the same way, love these. Staying on the comfortable shoe train here, back to Walmart we go. Unfortunately, very limited sizes left. And these guys, these are the quilted slip-on sneaker. Again, similar, they have the memory foam. Run true to size, I got them in a seven. I can go six and a half, seven. I tend to drop down a half size if the shoe runs big, but generally I'm a size seven. And um, these are very popular, not just with us here on my little channel, but apparently everyone, because there's only like three sizes left. So uh, grab these. Obviously there's other versions of these out in the world, but at this price point, not so many. So if you want them, snatch them up. 
And then the last item in the accessories department is this Topshop bag, which unfortunately is sold out. I looked at the Nordstrom website and Topshop and they're both gone, but um, I will insert a picture of the one I found on the Topshop website. Very similar and a little less expensive. So if you like that style, the faux croc, and that price point, you will probably like this one. So let me know what you think. And let's move on to lifestyle slash random. That's my favorite category. I kind of like random things. Let's start with the number one item was this guy. And I apologize, I did get this in PR. So it doesn't look exactly like it looks if you were to buy it yourself. It's from the brand, is it Ricky Cutie? It's, I'm sorry, but I find the name to be a little ridiculous. Um, it's the little vanity, not vanity, it's the portable lighted mirror. It comes, it has a little case that you put it in and it lights up. It has a little easel. You can see the LED lights kind of on the side there. I'm trying not to blind you. There we go. Can you see that? It does light up if you, varying degrees of brightness there. There we go. Great to keep in your purse, great for travel. It has these, I call them these like little, like brass knuckles almost that come out so that when you're doing your makeup, they also turn. Uh, you can just hook your fingers in there and then I guess it's to hold the make the mirror steady so you can gaze at yourself in the mirror. It's really handy and it's so tiny and portable and I love it. Like I said, branded for PR purposes, but normally it's just like all white or all black. I did want to point out while I was looking this up on the internet, Nordstrom carries this brand and they now carry, it's brand new, it's on my holiday wish list. Michael, if you're watching. Um, they do carry a new vanity mirror. I kind of want this for travel, and I know I have the Joy lighted mirror already, but I kind of like this one better. I'm gonna insert a picture. I'm just leaning over here for the insert. Um, it's not inexpensive. I will give you that, but if you travel a lot, it lights up really well, and it's thin. It's super, super, super thin, and it's it's really cool. Okay, I know that's not really a reason to want it, but. It, you can mount your phone on it and hook it up with Bluetooth and you can do um, Instagram lives or take selfies and you can mount a little magnifying mirror to it as well. It just is a lot more portable. I love my Joy mirror, but it's like, it's this thick, it's bulky. It takes up a little bit of room in a travel, you know, in a suitcase or whatever. This is that much thinner. I'm just saying, check it out, put it on your wish list too. It would make a really great present if you have a High school or college age daughter, she will be really, really, she will love you that much more. Um, okay, anyway. Or if you're a 40 something year old woman, I'm just gonna buy it for myself. Who are we kidding? Okay, next on your favorites was this guy that I just literally pulled out of my suitcase. I haven't even unpacked yet. These are silicone hot tool pouches. They come in other colors. You do not need hot pink. I kind of liked it this way. If I, I cannot forget this on a hotel countertop, I mean, this is pretty bright. But it's silicone, it's, it's, I don't remember what the temperature it's graded for, but it will not melt. And then you can, you know, curl your hair, straight iron your hair and stick that hot tool right inside this pouch and you will not set your clothes on fire and stick it right in your suitcase and, and go leave for the airport. Or while you are curling your hair or doing that, whatever hot tool, it is flat so you can set your tool right on top of it and not do damage to the hotel countertop or your own countertop at home for that matter. So. Very handy to have on Amazon. Um, next is this guy. I've ordered two of them this month myself. It is the Trap Orange Clove Candle. If you like fall candles, you need to have this in your life. It, it's not just fall. I mean, this could go all winter long. It's part of their limited holiday edition that you can really get all year round on Amazon. So can you see how much I've burned in just the month that I've had it? It's incredible. Also, moving along, the this guy. This is maybe the best thing I've ever purchased from Amazon. I initially bought this to be ridiculous and set my makeup. I'm not gonna lie, because everybody on YouTube has this and I fell for it too. But I also just got back from Ole Miss and we went to the football game and uh, Mississippi didn't get the memo that it's fall and I thought I was gonna die from heat stroke. Um, so this went in my game day purse and uh, I survived. I survived the Vanderbilt game. We won, by the way. But we won and I didn't die of heat stroke. It was ridiculously hot. We were all miserable. 
but this saved me and all my friends who sat around me. All right, the last thing, this video is getting really long um, and I'm getting a little slap happy. So um, this guy is still a perennial favorite and it is a lifesaver and also makes a great holiday gift a little weird, but if you put in a little note card explaining what it is, I think whoever is the recipient will really, really like this gift. This is the Clippa 2 bag hanger. You don't have to get it in the hematite finish. I like it, but it's not for everyone. And it's this strangely, it's not a bracelet. I don't think, yes, you could wear it as a bracelet, actually. Um, it is hinged on one side, and then it has these little silicone pads that you probably can't see, let's see. It has these little silicone pads on either side, and you just hook your bag, any part of your bag that you can find through, and you it will balance on basically anything, any surface, any, horizontal surface if you can't hang it on the side of a chair or whatever and it's really a lifesaver and everyone should have a couple of these laying around and I just keep it in usually tucked in whatever bag I'm currently using in a pocket somewhere and you just really never know when you're going to need to balance your bag somewhere. So there you go. Those were your favorites from September 2019. All kidding aside, thank you um, for using my links, for shopping those affiliate links. It really means a lot to me. I know you have a lot of options. There's a lot of us out there on YouTube. You could opt to just skip those completely and you didn't. And it means a lot. It means you trust me. It means, it means the world to me. It really, really does. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. It just, it means the world to me. It really, really does. And on that note, it's getting sappy. I'm gonna say goodbye. Please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't done so already, it's free. And I think we have fun, so please do that. Uh, speaking of favorites, those are coming in a couple of weeks, so be sure you're here for that. As always, have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.